Hey, what's going on, my friends? Welcome back to King Midas Collects, your boy, Vaughn. We got a quick mail call for you. Nothing too serious. Just want to show you some books that came in from the 616. Funny that you have to kind of bother these people, any of these online retailers, about orders that should have been in maybe two weeks ago. You give them a little bit of time to get, you know, check for damages, etc., etc. So I usually kind of wait, be like, all right, well, street date was three weeks ago. Are these books in stock yet? And I go and let them know, like, hey, I'm missing like four orders here. So, all right, cool, we'll ship you. I got an email back like two hours later. All right, we'll ship you everything that we have in stock. This should be on your way. Literally get the notification uh, that, you know, the <laughs> the tracking has been created and then I get the packages like four or five days later. But I'm like, had I not said anything, and I've, I've said this multiple times, you guys have probably watched previous videos where I've said the exact same thing where hey where why why is it that i have to hit you up and all of a sudden you're like oh yeah let me send out the order like are you not tracking this stuff i don't know <laughs> anyway now that that little rant is over let me just show you what we got in uh, really quick i'm still working on cataloging a lot of collection three different collections right now so as we go through those boxes i'll be sure to show you guys what we got we still got that 4k collection to go through so first up, we have this awesome Josh Burns, Vampirella versus the Superpowers. I believe this is issue two, but it's just one of the exclusives. So gotta, gotta support the homie Josh Burns. Next up, these are amazing. I think these are really cool. Amazing, pun intended. But we have a foil facsimiles for 121 and 122. ASM, y'all know what this is. The death of Gwen Stacy and then the death of the Green Goblin in the next issue there foil versions of these pretty cool i like that they're doing like foil facsimiles to make them a little bit more unique than just putting out normal facsimiles next up we have two asm 26 i mean this is a key right here the death of miss marvel um the carrie andrews trade dress and virgin of that and then we also have the trade dress and virgin of the lobos asm 125 variant so I'm a big fan of Lobos. Obviously, it adapts his style um, off of Adam Hughes. So it's so a no, no brainer there. Next up, we have some awesome Gun Honey Presents Heat Seeker variants from the 616. That is the uh, Marco Torini, I believe. And then the Tiago da Silva variant for that one. We all love us in, uh, uh, a good redhead, don't we? <laughs> Bill Sankevich Virgin. I believe this is the one in 10. And then we have another one of these art germ virgins. Now I already bought the pure foil off of the art germ collectible site, so that's the, the best one to get. But having a normal non-foil virgin is pretty cool too. Some frizzin action. Good to see a little bit of frizzin here. This is limited to 600 copies of this black and white Ghost Lord number one from Boom Studios. Then uh, I showed you guys this a couple weeks ago as a Boom exclusive. But I guess I had already ordered one and just forgot. So here's House of Slaughter 15, the Jenny Prison variant, boom exclusive. Again, limited to 600. Uh, I have two copies of those now. Because always ordering books and then not realizing I already ordered it. Next up, this is Carnal Confessions number four. This is a Derek Chu variant there. Perfect Derek Chu stuff. The only problem is, is that when you look at this comic book in person, it's like enhanced and zoomed in on. So. It just doesn't, they, they didn't print it correctly on, on the cover there, so it looks awful, unfortunately. Next up, Red Sonia number ones. We have some virgins to show off. Ivan Tao. Then we have the, I think it's Marco Torini again. With the ab work there. Beautiful Carla Cohen. Love me some Carla Cohen. Actually, wait. Is this Carla or is this Selena? <laughs> I believe it's Carla. Why are they going to be so similar? Pretty sure it's Carla Cohen. <laughs> the Shannon Mayer 1 in 200 virgin foil. The 1 in 100 is just the non foil virgin. And then we have the Mike Mignola virgin foil. And I think I paid too much for these two foils, but I pre-ordered pre -ordered them a long time ago. So it's like, you know what, bundled up and we're doing like installment payments. 
It's all right, whatever. I'll get over it. And then we have the Virgin Jim Chung. We have Red Sonia number one. We're still waiting on some foil variants of the Frizens. I, I believe I bought two of the non-foil Virgins, and then I bought one of the metals. Because uh, if you're going to give me a, a Frizen metal, I'll take it. Next up, Avengers. Nathan Zerdy. Showed you guys these because I guess I ordered two of these as well. Look at that. The three-pack there. Foil, trade dress, non foil virgin added in there same with these titans number one the nathan zerdy starfire covers and then the foil virgin there and then we have the tattoo starfires that he loves to do so i'll show you guys those boom nice little foil right there most of these will be at the flea market first, and then when we get a chance, if nothing sells at the flea market, then we'll post it online. Of course, Instagram, King Midas Collects underscore underneath or uh, past both, <laughs> King underscore Midas underscore Collects. That's that's the name there, and it'll be in the description down below, and also on DeepInCollectibles.com. Check it out. Check it out. We got some Ivan Tao. We got the whole set here. So this is issues 101 through 108, I believe, of uh, Power Rangers. So we got all the Virgin Ivan tiles of each Ranger here. The original six. And of course, with Tommy, you got to get the green and you got to get the white Ranger. And last but not least, saving it with the pink Ranger there. So every Ranger Ivan tile Virgin variants all Three different orders from the 616. We're still waiting on a fourth order from them. And then I got a ton of other orders. Bird City, uh, Hive Comics, Exchange Collectible. There's so many different websites where I've gotten CGC books. Oh, Archer Collectibles. I'm still missing CGC books from early last year. I, don't, I mean, they're giving me an update. We'll see if they ship anytime soon. Let's keep this one short. That was the mail call for the weekend. We got so many more boxes to open. Hopefully, I can somehow record or show you guys uh media what was the word i'm looking for uh, like content yeah show you some sort of content <laughs> with everything that we have going on remember deepincollectibles.com we're still trying to get that out there so if you can please give us some awareness that would be awesome really trying to sell books that's what we want to sell some books all right so check out the site hit me up on instagram i'm more than happy to share the collection with everyone all right guys thank you so much for tuning in bag and boredom as always do that great social media stuff and we'll see you in the next video